All right, guys, welcome back. Survival Living here. Got a couple things for you right fast. One, I am fixing to hit the woods tomorrow morning. I'm going to be gone for five days. Uh, we are taking one of those little small survival packs, going out to the woods, surviving with just that, and plus all my camera gear. But I don't get to touch my camera gear as far as any survival, you know, dismantling anything. Uh, so we'll have that. I've got four cameras with me, uh, counting the drone stands batteries all that stuff my, my battery kit my kit for all my camera is right at 40 pounds yeah so when you see my outdoor survival videos you when I say I'm carrying heavy I am I put all that in my backpack that's a lot a lot of weight so right fast some things going on with the channel guys um, spoke to my wife last night wanting something I want to do now, guys, if you've been with the channel for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of Survivor Man, uh, Les Stroud. Huge, huge, huge fan. I've been watching his stuff for a very long time. I still watch it. I do reruns all the time rewatching it. Uh, he's actually influenced me as far as my film work, stuff like that, because I go by myself when I do my survival challenges. But I am a small YouTube channel. I don't have the production teams and the finances and stuff like that. I can just do a certain amount of things on my end. So anyway, I spoke to my wife about it, and basically, we'll continue doing my outdoor survival videos here on the channel, in my local areas, but I'll be saving up, and also this year, I'll be getting the permits for it though, we're hitting Ocala again, I've done Ocala a couple times, I'm going to go this time and get it on film, I'm going to be doing the Everglades. And I want to get back up to uh, Santa Rosa County area and uh, hit the Blackwater Swamps again. This time, catch it on film. So, that's what we're going to be doing this year. And also, I'm looking into uh, possibly going back up to the Pathfinder course up in Jackson, Ohio and take the um, advanced course. So, guys, if you remember, there should be a pop-up right about here somewhere. Yeah. So, whoop, chickens. Uh, yeah, so that was this uh, intermediate scout class. So I went up there, I didn't take the basic, I just went straight into the scout class. Went in, got my patch, certificate, all that stuff, and that was September of last year. Well, my buddy Mike over there, Mike Buval, martial arts and bushcraft, or is it bushcraft martial arts? I'm, I'm dyslexic, by the way, I get things twisted around sometimes. Anyway, he's heading up there in uh September, I believe it is, and taking the advanced course. And Great dude. I'm hoping I can get up there and train with him again. I got to train with him over there at the scout class, and I want to do it again. So hopefully this September, I'll be able to go do that. So next year, you know, I'm talking about outdoor survival stuff, guys. Uh, speaking to the wife, we're going to start budgeting in. And since I don't have the means to go to, like, Costa Rica and stuff like that to do survival training videos and stuff, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be retracing some of my steps as a former train rider. Yeah, I was a hobo. I was an actual freight train rider for a year and a half. And I've camped and survived in some amazing locations. So, this time I'll be able to get it on film. So what we're going to be doing, guys, we're going to be putting a collection together where we just, me and my wife will both go out there. We'll get to do a little vacation for about a week. And uh, then while she gets to enjoy the vacation life... I'm going to be stepping out in the woods for five days to seven days. Uh, West Glacier, Montana, uh, American Canyon. I, this is all kind of amazing places I've been to as far as here in the States and have done outdoor survival. So we'll be able to film that. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this upcoming year just for filming here in the state of Florida alone and then the following years. I'm not giving up on this stuff anytime soon. Uh, have I ever gotten sick? Yeah, I have gotten sick out there. I've had dysentery a few times. It ain't no joke. Uh, drinking bad water, guys, can put you down. Fortunately, most of the time when I've gotten a hold of bad water, it's because, uh, one, it was intentional. I was trying to learn how to, what it was going to be like. I'm not recommending that. It was during one of my survival courses I took a few years back. The other one was by pure accident. But it took five to seven days before I started feeling the effects of it and I did have to go to the hospital and get a medication for it you know it's treatable 
I've never really had any major illnesses as far as any parasites or anything like that from being outdoors, but I'm real selective on how I do things. I've seen many survival guys and stuff like that. They drink water straight out of the stream and stuff like that. Hey, that's, that's for them. I've been sick. I don't like it. In a survival situation, like you know that you're going to be getting help within a few days, I guess. Me personally, I don't like getting sick. I boil or I filter out water no matter what. And there's a lot of ways you can filter out water. And I've shown that on the channel. Uh, this new this survival kit we're taking out there, there's no metal cup. There's no cup at all. There are uh, six, I think, four or six water purification tablets. And that's only... Each tab is like a quart of water. So that's six quarts of water. For five days, it's not enough. So I actually have to use that gear and teach on how you purify water with the gear at hand. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing. No extra gear, nothing like that. Just what, what I bring out there. Uh, with the aid of the drone, I'll be able to show my area and stuff like that so you know there's no tent sitting off camera or anything like that. I'll have the ability to show you all that. And that's one of the reasons why we're getting the we got the drone and stuff, guys. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited as can be. I got everything packed out, ready to go. Just topping off the battery banks and stuff. I did get some new battery banks with the camcorders and stuff. So, awesome. What else we got? Uh, you know, being what I do on YouTube, I try to show you exactly what we do on YouTube. I mean, it puts you right there with me. I see the comment a lot. The main thing about survive was mindset. Uh, you know, that that comment has always irked me, if I can put it that way. It's always irked me. Mainly because most of the people commenting that have never been in a survival situation. Me, I put myself into it all the time. Why? I love it. I train it. I enjoy it. Now, to me, that's camping. But... I see the comment. This is why I teach outdoor survival. And this is why I tell people, don't just read a book. Get out there and train. Because when it comes with me, when I get stuck in a survival situation, I don't have to sit there and I got to get mindset. No. Survival mode. I already know what I need to do. I don't have to sit there and assess and think and hold. Oh, I'm going to pump myself up. i got to get this done. No, I already know. Got to go do it. Why? Because I'm always training it. You need to start training. And a lot of people don't want to hear that, and that's fine. They don't like to hear the truth about anything. I'm the guy that actually shows you how to do the stuff. I'm not just some keyboard warrior or talk about things on YouTube. I show you. The reason I show you is because I'm trying to speak truth to you. Not just what you want to hear. I'm telling you what you need to hear. And what you do with it, that's up to you. So guys, oh, check that out. A buzzard. I don't know if he came up on camera or not. That's a buzzard over there. Big one. Uh, anyway guys, I'm fixing to wrap this up. I'm going to go over my rest of my stuff i got to work on tonight. And get ready. Hopefully we can do a live stream from camp. When I was out there, I was out there uh, yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I went out. And I was able to get on a reception zones mapped out and everything. Because it's a new location I'm going to. And I went out there, kind of looked around, kind of see what type of resources and stuff like that's out there. Uh, I know, man, you cheated. Well, I'm not putting anything else out there. I just went out there to see what type of resources. That I wasn't just going blindly in. You know, I'm going by myself, all right? It's not like I have a guide showing me what I need to eat when I get there. I have to figure all that out myself when I get there. So I was out there doing all that, checking all the uh, reception areas and stuff with a cell phone. So we should be able to actually do a live stream while I'm out there. I don't know how many, one, how many live streams I'm going to do. I did pick up some extra battery banks, so more power, which is awesome. Sorry, guys. I'm walking around this way. Saw something take off, but... uh. May have been a feral cat. Man, that's a lot of buzzards up there. Y'all see that? There they are. Something dead over there. Huh. 
Yeah. Something's dead. Something's dead out in that field. So, in a survival situation, what would I do? Anybody? Anybody? I'll tell you what I'll do. Because I see these buzzards up here. And I know that field's over there. I'll be walking out there and uh, see what type of kill's out there. If it's fresh enough kill, cook it up. Yep. Man, these things are huge. I hope they're not planning on trying to attack my brother's chickens. So my brother's chickens are right here. All right. Now, do I think the buzzers can get in there? I don't think so. But very interesting. I don't smell anything. But in survival, I'd be checking out there with those buzzers are buzzing overhead. See what type of food's over there. Hey, sometimes you got to eat something like that. Been there, done that. All right, guys. I got to get ready, and uh, I'll let y'all know how everything turns out, hopefully with a live stream. If there is no live stream, I'll catch you guys uh, when I get back.